Thank you for 100 subscribers. Yay. That's like actually really awesome. It's great. Thank you. Roll the intro. What's up, thrill seekers? Let's see if I can get, oh, that's the sun. Um, what's up, thrill seekers? Um, today, we, my dad and I, are at, um, um, wait, you can't see it. SeaWorld San Diego. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have some fun here. I have never been to this park, so every single ride here will be um, completely new. My dad is on the phone, by the way. Um, but anyways. Uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to ride some new rides. There's nothing super insane here. Some There's a Skyrocket too. Um, Journey to Atlantis will be fun, uh, which is the water coaster. Um, and I'm very, very excited for Manta. That's gonna be my first ever Mac, uh, Mac multi-launch coaster. So that's, uh, that's gonna be great. And uh, anyways, I will update you guys once we're inside. So as you can see, our first ride is going to be Electric Eel, which is a Skyrocket 2 clone. I've been on like many of these, so it's not really any different um, than what, like for, well, actually, I've only been on one other. Um, I've been on Tempesto, so it's not going to be different than that, but uh, it's a new credit, so let's do it. Just like Tempesto, unfortunately, this does have comfort collars. So that's not the best, um, but something that is the best is this is a station wait, let's go. Um, it seems not too crowded, but I feel like SeaWorld parks aren't really that crowded. So yeah, let's do it. Something that I have realized is that on, whoa, lighting, okay. On all Skyrocket 2s, well, again, I've only been on Tempesto, but on Tempesto, the front was definitely better. So we're waiting the extra like couple minutes for the front. Um, by the way, I do have my GoPro. It's right on my wrist here. Hello, GoPro. So I will get like reverse POVs and everything. So that's great. Let's do it. Riders, for your safety, keep all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train at all times. Whoa. So we just did electric eel, we did it twice, um, both times in the front row, uh, but we'll probably come back and do it in some other row just to get the experience. Um, let me just say, by the way, it's right behind me, right there. Um, let me just say it is definitely better than Tempesto. I don't know why, um, but for some reason I just didn't push up against the comfort collars as much as I did on Tempesto. Um, so it was just a more comfortable ride. Um, in general and I definitely enjoyed it more. It has a better setting, better color scheme, all of that kind of stuff. Definitely a beautiful ride. Um, so yeah, next I think we're doing uh, Journey to Atlantis, which is their water coaster that they have here. Um, and it's located, don't even, there it is, right there, right behind uh, Electric Eel. So yeah, my dad is going to get some food and then we're gonna head on over to Journey to Atlantis. Uh, drink. Oh yeah. They just got some classic theme park food. Now you can you can eat it. Now. Um, I got a lemonade. We got a Powerade, I guess, or like a vitamin water. Yeah, that's it. How is it? Good. Give it a thumbs up. Good. All right. Anyways, 
After that, we're just gonna head on right over there and uh, to, I think it's called Journey to Atlantis, um, which is their water coaster. Atlantis, Journey to Atlantis. So, uh, our home park is a Six Flags park. So I actually had to explain to my dad what this was. Um, it's actually called theming. Um, if, you, if you've been to Six Flags Magic Mountain, you're, you'll notice that there is none there. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool concept. Um, definitely, definitely used by a couple parks, but Six Flags is not one of them. But anyways, we're gonna get a locker. Behind me, future side of We just did Journey to Atlantis and we're both pretty soaked. Um, there are two splashdowns on this ride, so we got soaked once and then we got soaked again. Um, my dad doesn't really like water rides, so I don't think he had the best time on it, but there goes that. Um, but anyways, it was pretty fun. I think that the elevator lift system was definitely, uh, where's the sun? Back there, okay. It was definitely very unique. Um, so I think that it was a pretty fun ride and uh, now I think we're going to Mancha which is the Mac multi-launch coaster super super excited for that so let's do it ho oh, ho do I see a Mac multi-launch coaster over there I think I do all right let's do it oh yeah look at this this looks so cool and here is the entrance for manta oh yeah ta -da -da. there's one train there's two trains and uh, the other train just launched over there so they're running a full three trains oh yeah you can compare the loading system that they have here um, to the one on Millennium Force and that there's one station here that loads the cars um, and then right over there um, you get off of the car so I think it does definitely increase capacity it kind of acts kind of like a dual loading station and that you know um, it just takes so much less time for uh, for you to. It, it takes a lot of time for them to actually get off of the ride before, um, like, yeah, before you can load the ride and everything. So it's it's good stuff. Good stuff. Christmas theme going on here. Whoa. Rockin'. They rockin'. This is very cool. Oh yeah. Let's do it!
Wow, that's awesome. That is a really, really Yo, good coaster. So guys, we just did Manta twice, both times in the back row. Uh, let me just say really quickly, I had, um, um, I had definitely pretty high expectations. Wow, the lighting is awful. Um, I had pretty high expectations going in, um, but they, it still managed to like exceed them somehow. Um, it was a lot more intense and a lot more whippy than I think I was expecting, um, mainly just because I was expecting like a family coaster and it was definitely more like a thrill coaster than like a family coaster. So overall, really liked Manta, it was great. Um, and now we're going to Tidal Twister, which is a new coaster that they just got in 2019. So let's do that, we'll probably come back to this um, after we do it, but anyways, yeah, let's go. Alrighty, we are coming up on Tidal Twister now. Um, we only have like a solid 40 minutes left um, until five o'clock, which apparently um, is when a lot of like the rides close um, and then the actual park closes at six. Um, but hopefully we can get a ride here or two on Tidal Twister unless it's closed. It is closed, I think it's closed. Uh, let's, let's see. So here's the sign. And I think, I think it's closed. Because there's no one at the booth. <laughs> and, yeah. It is definitely, definitely closed. Unfortunately, they are, um, yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of Christmas songs and stuff. Oh yeah, getting into the Christmas spirit right before Thanksgiving. Seems to make sense. Alright, so we just rode Manta, I think two more times, one time in the back and one time in the front. Um, definitely, definitely the back is way better. Um, just because it gets, you just get so much more air time and so much more forces and it's more whippy. Um, and I would say like the front is more like family coaster and the back is a little bit more like thrill coaster. Um, so. Yeah, but anyways, because we are pass holders, um, I'm pretty sure we get to do, there's some gondolas kind of towards the back of the park. I'm pretty sure that we're able to do that for free because we are pass holders. So um, we're gonna go back there, um, check those out, have a good time on those. Um, and I think the roller coaster will come right by behind me, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Um, oh, here it comes. goes up the second launch but anyways let's go check that out and see see what it's about the Bayside sky ride oh yeah it says entry six dollars um, but I think yeah annual pass members ride for free so there you go <laughs> sunset well hello flamingos smells awful over here but I guess you're pretty so that's good right next to Manta all right let's uh let's go I think we're gonna do something <laughs> we're gonna find some some more stuff to eat um, and yeah so we're on Manta and uh, we're sitting in the break run there's the coaster and the station isn't going out and um, and I think that's partly because the uh, um, this train right there didn't uh, go all the way into the unloading area so we're just chilling 
um, either they're going to fix it or we're gonna get e back. Kinda hoping for the latter, but because then e back credits, you know? But anyways, so that's that's great. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on over to Electric Eel, um, but we've already ridden it, so I'm going to sign off the video here. So, standing right under the Observation Tower Christmas tree here, and this is where I'm going to sign off the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Definitely comment down below. Have you been here? And if you have, what did you think of it? Um, and if you haven't, what are your expectations? Um, definitely my expectations were blown away just because um, Electric Eel was a lot better than I thought it would uh, was going to be. Uh, the comfort collars did not bother me as much as they did on um, Tempesto. Um, and then also Manta definitely blew away my expectations. Um, it was more thrill coastery than family coastery, especially in the back row. So. Definitely, definitely recommend coming here if you're in the area. And uh, with that, that's gonna be it. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. All right, we just got uh, last ride of the night on Manta. Let's go. Peace.